Hello, this is the announcements web part at SharePoint-Boards.com. This template allows you to have a announcements web part sitting in the sidebar of your SharePoint page. So very typically in a landing page, we want to have the ability to put important announcements out to employees. And we want to be able to do that on the right side of the page. This web part lets you take a SharePoint list and have it formatted as shown in this preview. It's very easy to set up. It does require some fields configured as your first step. Those are listed in the blue notes, uh, notes section in the lower left. So uh, we just need the standard title field, uh, which is on every SharePoint list when you create it. And then we're going to add some additional fields as well. We need a multi-line text, which should be plain text, called description. We need a hyperlink column, simply called link. We need a yes-no column called active to indicate whether or not the announcement will be shown or not. And then we need uh, an order field for the number. That'll help us control uh, the order of the announcements, whether the announcement is on top or whether we move it down to the bottom. The icon field is going to be a choice field, and we're going to use emoji icons for that. So those are listed below. Um, you can copy and paste these um, into your uh, choice field that you set up in SharePoint. Um, or if you want to use your own icons, you can just uh, copy and paste those into your choice list. So I do have my choice list set up and ready to go. You can see I've already made a few records. Um, and just to show you the setup for the icon column, it's just a regular choice field. Uh, instead of text, it just has those icons pasted into it. That's very easy to do. Um, they act just like typing letters on your keyboard. So you can just paste it in here and you can see I've already um, added those in. So uh, not a big deal to set that up at all. You can see I've got my list configured to be sorted by order. That's the order the announcements will be uh, showing. And then also I have it filtered so that it'll only show up when uh, active is set yes. And it's set that way by default. So I've got my list ready to go. And <clears throat> I can just come back here and you can look through the different theme options. And you can see there's different ways you can make this look. Now, depending on where you want this to appear, uh, that'll control the choices you make for the uh, the size of the box, the overall width, and then uh, you know things like the font size and that type of thing. But all of the things, the look and feel, including the uh, colors for the button, the title bar, all that kind of stuff is configurable by just um, adjusting the uh, color selections, the font, the font family, etc. There is a note in here that says if you want to use this in the sidebar, suggested width for that is 350 pixel. And that's what we'll go ahead and demonstrate right now. I'm going to go ahead and pick the theme 3 template, and I'm going to change my width down to 350. And that's just so I can make everything fit nicely. And I'll just stick with the color options that are shown here. So I am ready to go. I can just click on Copy Template and switch back over to SharePoint. I need to go <coughs> to that um, view selector and I wanna do format current view, advanced mode, select all and paste. And there is the uh, format announcement. So you can see when I click on this info button, it takes me to a window which can uh, hold the description information. If a link has been provided, a button's going to appear in this box. So you can see some of these I had provided a hyperlink that just pops open in a new window, linking to whichever page you want, um, or you don't have to provide it. In that case, it's just going to show the description. So this is ready to go. The way that I can use this in a page is to use the list web part. So here's my landing page, Human Resources Home. And what I'm going to do is edit this page. And the first thing I want to do is go ahead and add a section. Um, so I can just go over here and I'm going to do one third right. And on the right hand side, that's where I'm going to put my list web part. So I just go to add a new list web part 
and then it asks me which list. My list is called announcements. So I just click on that and then I want to click on the pencil to edit that. Make sure you pick your formatted view. My view is called uh, announcements and then we want to hide the uh, command bar and the see all button. So I'm going to toggle those and hit apply and there now you can see it's dropped in one additional thing i'm going to do i don't want it to say it, announcements twice there's a trick here you can just delete that but you do need to put one space to trick it into hiding that title hit republish and then uh, we'll be able to see it on the page okay there it goes it acted funny for a second and this acts just like it does on the list view page i can click on these and that type of thing. So this will dynamically update uh, anytime I make updates over here in my list. And if I want to manage those, I'm just going to go to my unformatted view where I can go in and make adjustments. I can pick a different icon or I can pick a different description. I can make updates at any time and that's going to propagate out to the web part that I have shown on my landing page. Um, so that's how that all connects together and that's about it if you want to include dates you can just type that as part of the description in many cases you may want to do that for announcements and of course you can just take them up and down whenever you need if you want to save them for later you can just uh, use the active column to turn them on and off if you don't want to uh, delete that and that's really all there is to it so this is the announcements uh, template at SharePointDashboards.com. This is part of the subscription offered, which includes hundreds of templates. If you do not yet have access to this tool, you can go to the SharePoint Dashboard site and sign up to get access to 21 free templates. And then from there, once you've been able to use some of those templates, you can explore the other options that are available. Good luck.